When the Hubble telescope was sent to space, they immediately got to work and designed the next telescope. And that's the James Webb we all know. It hasn't even been a month since James Webb launched, and it hasn't even opened itself up. They've already designed the next telescope, and they're looking for a team to start building it. Right now, the name of this telescope is Lavoie. They might change it in the future, but it is the name right now. Do you know what Lavoie means? It means Large Ultraviolet Optical Infrared Surveyor. Remember that large? We're gonna get to it in a little bit. But don't think that this telescope is gonna get launched this year or in the next five years. NASA says that they have a plan for this telescope and it's gonna launch on the year 2039. They learned from James Webb and they don't make false promises anymore. Because if you remember, the James Webb telescope was supposed to launch in 2007. But unfortunately, because of a bunch of hiccups, it was launched 14 years later in the year 2021. And that is why they don't wanna make the same mistakes with Lavoie. But, but technology is rising every day. You might see in the year 2030, they say it's ready for launch. Do you guys see the large in the beginning? You have to know that it's extremely big. You guys know the James Webb mirror is ginormous. It's six and a half meters in diameter, but the Lavoie mirror is supposed to be 15 meters in diameter. And that's around two and a half times James Webb. But why is this so big? Because this telescope is built to look at far away planet. This is not designed to go look at the Big Bang. Lavoie is designed to look at far away planets and give a good analysis to the humans on Earth. This is supposed to go where James Webb is located as well, and that's the L2 orbit. And if you see our James Webb video, we talk about it a lot. It's supposed to look at Earth-like planets and basically get information on them. But this is not all it's supposed to do. Because it's an extremely advanced telescope, they might give it some other order, like look at this star or look at this black hole. There's two versions of these telescopes. One of them has an eight meter mirror and the other one has a 15 meter mirror that's we're already talking about. This small one is designed for when James Webb retires, this goes and replaces it. But, but just like we said, the big one is designed to look for planets. You have to know that in telescope terms, the bigger the mirror, the better the telescope. And that is why Lavoie is gonna be able to take pictures that look like it's next to them. When older telescope looked at something from afar, it was like a blur. But the pictures Lavoie can take are gonna be much more clear and way better than the James Webb telescope even. It can look at the temperature and see what the planet is like. It could see the distance from its star and see how fast it rotates around it. If you've seen our video about Kepler, you'll know that what it was made for. This telescope was mostly looking for Earth-like planet. This one is retired and James Webb doesn't have the time to do what it does. But Lavoie is kind of the replacement for Kepler. But saying a replacement, it's kind of disrespectful for Lavoie because Lavoie is the most advanced telescope design ever. And it's kind of a joke to compare them to. It's so advanced that it can zoom at a planet like 50 light years away, look at its atmosphere perfectly. If there's water on it, see it. And even if there's plants on it, it will notice it. How would it notice that on a planet there's life? It will study the atmosphere of the planet 
And if there is carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, oxygen, ozone, or water, it means there is life on this planet. At least plant life. Scientists have cherry-picked 28 planets and they want to see what's on it because Kepler showed them an estimate. But Lavoie wants to look at them much better and see what's going on. Scientists say that if there is not life on these 28 planets, our hope for life in the universe has been lost. because the chances of finding life is much lower now. These 28 planets are very much like Earth and there's a high chance that it could have life. And the planet is in the Goldilocks zone. If Lavoie is not able to find life on these 28 planets, you could kind of say that Earth is the only place in the universe that has life. Everybody knows this, but Arthur C. Clarke says there's two realities. We're either alone in this universe or we're not. And they're both equally as scary. When Lavoie gets to his destination, it's gonna look for life. It would even look at the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. This project is gonna cost so much money that some people believe it will never happen. And that means if other countries don't help out with the cost, NASA is pretty much gonna scrap it. The budget that's estimated for this project is 24 billion dollars. If you remember, James Webb was supposed to be ready with 500 million dollars, but it eventually ended up being 10 billion dollars. So this 24 billion might be a lot more when it's finished. But there's a high chance that other countries would help out with the cost. But there are people that say NASA doesn't work this hard and scrap a project like this. This will for sure be made and the next telescope after James Webb is Lavoie. There are negative scientists as well and they say that the US government is not going to pay for something like this. NASA can't come up with the money either so it's not going to happen. As you know, James Webb got delayed year after year, and these negative scientists would say that this will never be finished. But eventually, it got finished. Lavoie is gonna be just as successful. What do you guys think? Please let us know.